on, Pikachu, get it! Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokedex. Today, we are going to talk about Pikachu. If we look him up in our Super Deluxe Essential Handbook, you will see some facts about Pikachu. Pikachu is a mouse-type Pokemon and naturally stores up electricity in its body and needs to discharge that energy on a regular basis to maintain good health. To take advantage of his, this, some have suggested creating a Pikachu-fueled power plant. Jeez. Pikachu is about one foot high or about a half a meter, 13 pounds or six kilograms. Pikachu evolves from Pichu and when leveled up with high friendship. So it means you just have to be a really good friend with Pikachu for it to evolve into a Pikachu. And it'll evolve into the Raichu when it's exposed to a Thunderstone. In the Alolan region, Pikachu will evolve into the Alolan Raichu when exposed to the same Thunderstone. Another form of Pikachu is the Gigantamax Pikachu. This Pikachu cannot evolve though, and it stays as a Pikachu. I remember as a kid, I always used to play Pokemon Red and Blue, and when I saw Pokemon Yellow come out, I was really excited that the starter was a Pikachu. Made it even more fun when Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu came out as you could interact with the Pikachu, have it follow behind you like you could in the original Yellow series. It made it really fun. In the Let's Go Pikachu and Pikachu Yellow, the starter Pikachu uh, will not evolve and cannot be traded to become a Raichu. As we all know, Pikachu is massive in its popularity and has become one of the mainstay mascots, not only of the Pokemon franchise, but also of Nintendo's franchise. Pikachu looks a little different in, in its gender forms. So a male Pikachu will have a lightning bolt style tail with a flat edge on the end of the tail, while a female Pikachu will have what looks kind of like a heart shape on the end of her tail. Wild Pikachu like to live in groups in forested areas. And what's interesting is that they communicate uh, using squeaks and tail shaking as well. Another interesting thing about their communication with each other is that electricity can be used to receive and send messages with each other as well as other electric Pokemon species. So they use their electric power to communicate. Pikachus love to eat berries and they roast them with the elect uh, electricity and that makes it tender enough to eat, apparently. While sleeping at night, Pikachu charges itself up, but if it's stressed out for any reason or it doesn't get good sleep, that'll affect its recharging ability. What's interesting is that it stores this energy, electricity in its glands. And if too much energy is stored, too much electricity is stored in these glands, uh, it could become problematic. So they need to make sure that they continually discharge this electricity to avoid any kind of complications. Its tail is also able to release some energy, which acts as a grounding rod, as well as recharging fellow Pikachus with its electric shocks. Something that's interesting about this is that if a Pikachu actually stands outside charged up with his tail up in the air, say in an open field, it actually is a lightning rod. So it'll get struck by lightning by standing in an open field. As we all know, by the Chonkachus that the Gigantamax Pikachu gets a lot larger and a lot chubbier, hence the name Chonkachu that a lot of Poketubers and other Poke community members use when they're speaking about this Pikachu. Pikachu has some interesting moves that only the partner Pikachu is capable of using. These are called Zippy Zap, Floaty Fall, Splishy Splash, and the partner power Pika Papow. In the first episode of the anime, Ash obtains a Pikachu as his first Pokemon from Professor Oak in the episode Pokemon I Choose You. 
It wasn't until the episode, the climb to be the very best, that we see that Pikachu is capable of Gigantamaxing. In the episode Lights, Camera, Pika, we see that there's actually um, some cosplay Pikachu as well that come in several forms and they all look very interesting. Another interesting thing about Pikachu is that it tends to have some forms that wear a hat as well. I've always liked seeing Pikachu with the hat on. He looks so cool. Another form of the Pikachu is the shiny Pikachu. And what's funny is he kind of looks like a little uh, boss with a pompadour on his head. <laughs> it's like manager Pikachu coming your way. In the manga series, we can see in the electric tale of Pikachu that it's a colorized version of the manga with the Pikachu in it. And I particularly think that this form of the Pikachu is quite adorable and a little derpy. As I always like to do in these episodes, I like to show off a little bit more of the manga Pikachus. And in one of the episodes of Pikachu in Pokemon Adventures, we can see a group of the cosplay Pikachus in the manga. There are several really interesting facts about the Pikachu, and you can look these up for yourself anytime you'd like on my favorite place to find these facts, which is bulbapedia.bulbagarden.net. Recently, they've come out with the Pikachu V Union card. And I particularly like this card. I enjoy that they did it in the split up form and in the full form here. I really appreciate you guys watching this episode of the Pokedex today. And I'd like to do a shout out to everybody who has been stopping by and commenting on these videos. I really appreciate the support. A huge shout out to Zach the Poke Teacher for adding another interesting fact to the Gengar Pokedex video. You can see his comment here on the screen. If you guys have a favorite pa fact about Pikachu that I missed today and you'd like to share it with everybody else, please do so in the comments below. If you want to suggest a Pokemon to do for an upcoming episode, you can also put that down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching this episode of the Pokedex. Next up, we have an unboxing video, which I think will be very fun. And it's something I'm sure we've all seen and been interested to see what it's like to be unboxed. I hope you all have a great week. I'll see you guys on the next video.